Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Let's get into a general read for you guys. I apologize about the delay last time. I was quite sick. I don't know what was in the air, but it kind of dropped me. Anyway, let's get started. Four of Wands energy. And then we've got a lot of clarifiers. For some reason, they all wanted to come out. So, Four of Wands. Followed by the Ace of Wands, the Death card, the Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Eight of Coins, and the Queen of Wands. Now, I want to say that, that it was the Four of Wands. You really in this energy of creating home, creating a space for yourself where you feel peace and home. With death card and the six of cups, you're looking to somebody from your past. And things have changed between them. They're not like that they used to be. And with the Ace of Swords, you're figuring this out. Maybe they're figuring you out. The Eight of Pentacles. This is something that you think is worth working toward. With the Queen of Wands, you see them as somebody that is very attractive. And that whole nesting bug is starting, which is okay. Nesting bugs are fine, as long as they're not bad bugs. The hangman comes up in the desire position. And this is interesting because you're looking at this person differently. You're looking at this connection differently. With the sun, two of wands, devil and the hermit, it's very much like, because you're looking at this differently and taking a different perspective, it's very helpful because it creates a different energy between the two. This is an energy that is super desirable with the devil here. And I don't mean super des desirable as like, okay, maybe I do, let's get naughty. Um, it's like this person is under your skin and you're trying to figure this out with the hermit here, <clears throat> which is your energy. And it's like, as this goes on, this connection, it's just really, really hard to let it go. But you're looking at it in a very, very different way. Now, with the Page of Pentacles here, this is in the outcome. There's a learning curve that needs to take place. Because there's some maturity that goes along with this. We have the Empress and the Eight of Swords. And thinking with the King of Swords, how to go through this and how to create something that's lasting, loving. And with the Empress here, I get the depth. That depth of um, connection that, <clears throat> that comes with that two of that two of cups. Now the Page of Wands is what's working for you. So there's chatter back and forth. The Five of Coins, the Magician, and the Seven of Coins. However, somebody's feeling a little sensitive with the Five of Coins here. It's like... Sometimes you need to preface what you're going to say before you say it, if that makes sense. And... The Magician and the Seven of Coins. So, when you're trying to bring all of this in and talk about the future, 
somebody might not be there quite just yet and be just um, open to what their concerns are. Now, what you need to be aware of is the Queen of Swords, the Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Now, this is being overly critical because there's a stage that every relationship goes through where you're trying to figure each other out, understand what's going on. But I see this as somebody flaunting their options in somebody else's face in order to look good. This is not a good idea. This can be quite hurtful. We have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Coins, the Knight of Coins, and the Nine of Coins. Your dreams are here. And there's a very, very big possibility that these dreams are here to stay. And the success is here to stay. With the Knight of Coins, this is going to take some work. This isn't something that's just going to be um, where everybody falls on the same page automatically. There's going to be those moments where it feels a little difficult. But with the Nine of Coins, there is a prosperity. I hate that word too sometimes. How do I want to put it? As you go through this, it feels like you start attaining the things that you desire or other things in life. But somebody comes rushing forward because somebody starts holding back because they've threatened to walk away. This causes stress. It causes resistance. It causes fighting. And it can cause things to be over when it shouldn't. But again, that's going to depend on everybody's situation. It's going to depend on how you see the future going. So, again, how you see the future going. What are your choices? Your choices affect your future. You can change your choices at any time. So, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.